so let me let me uh, present uh, the first result of our, our study on the radio diet in the fenced and unfenced areas. Uh, the interest in uh, uh, construction of game preserves, we call hunting gardens and farms, uh, is increasing in Hungary for different uh, reasons, but uh, uh, this is, these are mainly economic reasons, because uh, the local owners can uh, uh, have an independent planning and an independent business in these uh, uh, farms in these fenced uh, areas or, and, or hunting gar gardens. So that's why more and more people uh, construct this kind of uh, uh, hunting gardens and farms. But uh, the ecological uh, consequences of this uh, uh, farming or, or increased population density and uh, intensive management is uh, not well. Uh, studied, and that's why we do not predict what will happen in several decades in these areas. Uh, on the other hand, we know that uh, we speak about overabundant uh, game populations, which is stated that we have more big games than it is tolerable, they cause damages, and so on and so on. But uh, if we see the uh, game preserves, uh, we will see that uh, the, the game density is one order of magnitude higher in these areas than in the nature. So if there are any uh, uh, damages or disadvantages of this high density, then we can see it or we can study it in these uh, game preserves. Okay, we hypothesized uh, the, these, these things. So. We think, we suppose that the uh, dietary proportion of different understory species is lower in the fenced area uh, due to the overuse of that. Uh, the proportion of uh, the main tree, which is Quercus species, is higher in this fenced area. It means that uh, it will cause some problems for the uh, forestry and for the regeneration of the forest in longer time. Uh, <coughs> uh, the dietary proportion of the supplementary feed is higher in the fenced area. Yes, because it is, it is stated, uh, the, uh, usually the managers say that uh, these uh, populations, these high density populations, are maintained by this artificial or supplementary feeding. Uh, and the, the diversity of the individual diet is higher in the unfenced area which can be more profitable for the individuals. Okay, the study area is a, a state forestry, uh, which is quite famous and one of the oldest one and one of the so-called best one. Uh, these are the main uh, data of the preserve, the fenced area and the unfenced area, which uh, can be seen clearly that as the, uh, the area is much smaller than the unfenced, control one. Uh, the population density is almost 10 times higher in the fenced area and also the, the supplemental feeding and the game fields uh, proportion is uh, significantly higher in this area. So we collected uh, uh, feces samples in the spring, summer and autumn last year uh, in the, uh, the fenced and uh, the unfenced areas, uh, we did a microhistological analysis of the feces of the individual samples. So we have uh, individual diet. Uh, and uh, after that, we, we made the, the usual uh, statistical analysis. These are the, the results <coughs> in spring. Uh, the dark column is uh, the unfenced area and this reddish one is uh, uh, the fenced area. Uh, the different letters uh, show the significant differences. Uh, you can see here that uh, the in spring, the other browses, consumption of other browses is uh, uh, lower in the fenced area, so the proportion of the other browses is lower in the fenced area than 
in the unfenced area. Uh, the uh, proportion of the bark is bigger in this area, and also the proportion of the grasses is uh, higher in the fenced area. If you see the uh, frequency of the individual diet, so how many individuals eat that the, uh, item, <coughs> we see that uh, every individual consume on oak, but there are slight differences, especially a uh, little bit bigger in bark. So uh, more animals eat bark in uh, uh, the fenced area. And those are fruits and seeds uh, can be different uh, in the fenced area in this uh, time of the year uh, due to the uh, supplemental feeding. Okay, what, did, what happened in summer? <coughs> summer, uh, uh, the situation is a little bit different because the oak proportion is decreasing in unfenced area, but it is still high on the fenced area and uh, the other broses are more dominant in uh, the open area and unfenced area, uh, and also the fruits and seeds uh, are uh, more important in the uh, unfenced area. There are some, some barking that's interesting. We have to make more uh, analysis on that. Uh, we suppose that uh, this is not real bark. They eat the shots of the, uh, of the uh, uh, broses, and that's why and the bark uh, is increasing. Okay, uh, the frequency of the diet is uh, uh, it, it a little bit uh, similar. There are some small changes. It seems that the, go the oak is an important food for every animal, again. But uh, as I mentioned, the bark became a bit more important here, and the fruits and the seeds in open areas. We are in summer, so there are many white fruits and seeds. Okay. Uh, what happened in autumn? The autumn, the grasses became uh, important uh, uh, food items uh, in the unfenced area. It is due to the autumn ephemeral vegetation, so uh, the, the understory became green in this uh, season in Hungary, so they could eat that. And, but in the fenced area, the supplemental feeding is uh, more important. Okay, if we compare the uh, diversity of the diet and the evenness, we can find a uh, difference only in summer. And as we uh, predicted, uh, the diversity is smaller in fenced area uh, and uh, a little bit bigger in unfenced area, and even uh, the evenness is, is different in these areas. Uh, the number of the species, uh, consumed species, uh, is a little bit more uh, confused, so uh, we have to make an er other analysis in that, because sometimes in the unfenced area they eat more species than uh, in the fenced area. So what are the messages from this preliminary study? Well, we can say that uh, red deer primarily consumed uh, broad species, in both areas. We know it, but several uh, managers uh, think that uh, uh, the red deer is a grazer, which is not true, so they are browser. Uh, the oak is an important food, uh, but uh, due, to, due to the less various food supply in the fence, fenced area, the understory, the importance of the understory and woody species is uh, lower in uh, uh, the fenced area, especially outside some because some fraction species are missing there because of the over exploitation or some other reasons we have to do it. And uh, supplementary feed consumption uh, was higher in preserve, but not as high as it was predicted uh, by the opinion of the, of the managers. And uh, ready diet was less uh, diverse in the, in the preserves. Uh, we have a problem with the oak uh, consumption because uh, if you know the, the area, we, uh, there are no oak leaves in the zero to two meters la layer because uh, it was eaten then. So we uh, suppose that these are fallen, le fallen leaves of uh, the oaks. But uh, now we, we think, or we 
this is the next hypothesis, work hypothesis, that uh, as in the preserved uh, preserves, uh, deer has no chance to, select, uh, to follow the selective browsing uh, in luck of the preferred uh, and uh, good quality foods, uh, it will be uh, an impact, it will, it will cause an impact in the forest regeneration and forest uh, species diversity, and also it will be harmful for a longer time to the uh, population, deer population too. So uh, we are not sure that this is an optimal uh, management for, for the gamekeepers, uh, game managers. Thank you very much.